parents, you will see a parent sur survey um, in your child's uh, work packet this week. The survey is something that's put out by the State Department of Alabama. It's not something that's put out by our school system, but um, you do need to indicate which school system it is from. So the first line where it asks where it says school district or system, you will put the Tuscaloosa County uh, school system there. Um, then you will just complete the questions by answering your child's gender, if there's female, male, your child's race. Um, they want you just to choose one, um, American Indian or Alaska Native, Asian, Black or African American, Hispanic, Latino, Native American or other Pacific Islander, white or multi-race, that's more than two white races. And then four, um, this is my child receives IEP services primarily because of his or her blank. So this is where you'll choose um, what your child was determined eligible for to receive specialized services. And um, in our classroom, is the student that I work with was either autism, um, multiple disabilities, uh, other health impairment, or a specific learn, learning disability. So it will be one of those. Since you are at um, our schools, you would either mark, I mean, Collins Riverside Middle School, you're either mark grades K through six, if they're in the sixth grade last year, or grades seven through eight, if they're in that, or in the seventh or eighth grade last year. And then it's just gonna ask you uh, questions regarding your child's special education program. One is for you where you strongly disagree. Five is for where you strongly agree. Agree, and then you have um, eleven questions. The next section, twelve and thirteen, is only to be answered by kids or parents who have children that are in grades th um, that are ages three to five years of age. So that will not be any of you. And then the next section, it says the next two items are only answered by parents of students with a secondary transition plan, and that's usually with kids 16 or older, and that is that does not include any of you. So you will answer just questions 11, 1 through 11, and then where it has additional comments, I do not want you to put anyone's name, that wants anyone, all of this to be anonymous, but you know, just please write how you feel about your child's uh, educational plan. Um, it really helps the school system because we do get the results back and in, in de determining uh, resources and developing different ideas to help better serve the needs of our students that receive specialized instruction. And you will keep this survey with you. Um, there will be a day in May where students will come back to school to collect their items and you will give me back this survey and all the other things that have to be signed at that time.